All right, next morning. We got up pretty early, 6.45, to hopefully make it to the extra magic hour, whatever Universal Carl calls that, uh, 8 o'clock at uh, Universal Studios. We got to swing by club level first and get a little breakfast. <laughs> park admission so it is currently 8 20 we were trying to be here by 8 but didn't make it we briefly lost Jennings that was scary but he was smart he knew what to do right yeah you knew where to go right what you knew where to go whenever you were lost right yeah yep all right so the lines were crazy but um like the park is empty Kind of awesome. All right, so we are at the little phone booth in London, and if you dial magic on the phone, it's supposed to call the ministry. She said something has gone wrong in the atrium lobby or something like that. The visitor's entrance is closed from now on. Looking awesome. You said diagonally. Do you not know Harry Potter? I do. <laughs> Woo! We just wrote Escape from Gringotts. Jennings was a little nervous before we went on, but Jennings, what did you think? It was great. Do you did you love it? So he almost didn't get on, but he actually did after much convincing, and he loved it. So proud of him for trying it. Not sure how many more he's going to get to do. This place is really cool. Florian Fortescue's ice cream parlor. I'm gonna want to try that. Gringotts, Dragon, all the Vanders is over yonder. Magical Menagerie is like a uh, I don't know stuffed animal shop. Jennings is gonna want to try that. Let's see, what does this one say? Incendio. Yeah, you got it. Good job. Going into the magical menagerie to do a little shopping for stuffed animals. Wow, look at all these stuffed animals. You got Aragog, you got Fox, you got Buckbeak, you got Fluffy. Sing for me. What do you 
most excited about? The chocolate frog and the card. The card? I got Artisma Luvkin. I don't know who that is. There were once three brothers who were traveling along a lonely, winding road at twilight. In time, the brothers reached a river too treacherous to pass, but being alone of the magical arts, they simply waved their wands and made a bridge. Before they could cross, finally, death turned to the third brother, a humble and wise man. He did not trust death, so he asked for something that would enable him to go forth from that place without being followed by death. And death, most unwillingly, handed over his own cloak of invisibility. He then greeted death as an old friend and went with him gladly, departing this life as equals. Alright, so we are going to explore some other places other than Harry Potter for a little while. So we are headed over into Springfield. Is that right? Yeah. We just rode the Simpsons ride, and Jennings says, Dad! Hey, what'd you think of that ride? My favorite ride. I can't hear you if you look that it's way. It's my favorite ride that our, we rode this trip, and I'm deaf now, because don't answer that phone. So Jennings wants to play a carnival game. Six dollars per game, or any five for twenty-five. What a bargain! They're so nice here. Gotta hit it as hard as you can, man. Oh, that's better. Harder, harder, harder. What is that thing? Right, so the Men in Black experience, here we go. Here we go, going into Moe's. Squeeze it and see your love level. You're lukewarm. You're better than me. I was a cold fish. Ho ho! <laughs> hubba hubba. <laughs> Aiden's excited. Aiden. You want to get in line? All right, Aiden is so excited. He just got to take a picture by the DeLorean. He does not want to take, he doesn't want to meet Doc, but he wants to take a picture by the, the train from Back to the Future 3 as well. All right, so Jennings wanted to check out the park, a little play park. So we just saw that Optimus Prime is out. So we're gonna hurry down here so we can see him. All right, so the boys did not want to stand in line for the, to meet Optimus Prime, but we are gonna go ride the ride. Now Bumblebee's out there. Well, they still don't want to meet him, but, He's really cute. Jennings bought a stuffed animal of Bumblebee after we rode the Transformers ride. And I think we're getting ready to go ride Rip Ride Rocket. So Aiden and Mom have been riding Rip Ride Rocket. And little Bug and I have been chilling, waiting on them. So let's see what they thought. I don't wow. feel too good. <laughs> I don't feel too good. As soon as it was over, he was like, I want to do it again. And I was like, you can do it with Dad. My throat hurts from screaming. Pretty, <laughs> it was pretty, pretty intense. <laughs> All 
right, so we're headed over to the Toothsome Chocolate Emporium. We're gonna get maybe a snack, some kind of savory snack, and a shake, of course, or some kind of dessert. French fries and a milkshake. <laughs> French fries and a milkshake. What did we of course, get? we got crab and artichoke, crab and artichoke dip and um, hummus, and then we are each, well, you guys are splitting a key lime pie milkshake, and I'm getting a, a, a sundae. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful! So is this your first visit to my Emporium? Yes! Oh, how exciting! I'm Professor Doctor Penelope Chavotin for Tuesday Natural Service. You may call me Penelope, is that easier? Yes. Yes, yes so where we My favorite. <laughs> Dessert on my menu. Well, let's see. What am I in the mood for today? The chocolate brownie bark is a dessert with the most amount of chocolate. It has chocolate ice cream, chocolate whipped cream, chocolate sauce, chocolate brownies, chocolate brownie bark, and chocolate sprinkles. Oh, it's wow. like a chocolate explosion. Wow. All that. right, so we just walked into Islands of Adventure. It is really, really, really hot in this park for some reason. I don't know what just happened. Um, we really enjoyed our shakes and our appetizers at Toothsome Emporium. I would they were really good. Um, I liked the hummus and the crab and artichoke dip and all of our ice cream options were good. We got the key lime pie, the may contain nuts sundae and the red velvet uh, shake. So all of them were really, really good. Now we are going to experience all of the fun of Islands of Adventure. Daddy is giving Jennings a hard time saying that he is going to ride the Hulk. Jennings is not having it. I'm gonna barf. He says no way. All right we are now in Marvel. Looking forward to riding Spider-Man so that's I think where we're headed first. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I wanna do Kong. Now we're entering into the Toon Lagoon. It's all the comics. Oh man, I used to read these. So cute. Popeye and Kathy. I used to love Kathy. All right, we are headed to Skull. Oh, that's cool. So, we are super excited to ride Kong Skull Island. Yeah, we are. No, we're not. I'm not. How are you excited? Yeah. So we just rode Skull. That was really, really good. Um, the giant animatronic at the end was amazing. It was like a lot to look at, wasn't it, Skull? It was a lot to look at. I feel like you kind of have to ride it a couple of times in order to see everything. Yeah, yeah, for sure. What did you think of, of Skull? Did you love it? I made a fringe there. Yeah, so he was a little nervous about Kong before we went in there, but um, then he figured out that Kong was actually our hero, so then he liked him after that. So he bought a stuffed animal of him. We are going to fill up our icy cup and go back to the hotel and rest for a little bit and hit the club level, um, and then we're going to come back here this evening because we can feel the shift in the weather and the skies are going to open in the time. 